Welcome to the next video in the GateStorm series. In this video, we're going to get you started using triggers with the complex and simple lanes, and with the bank. Like in the previous videos, we're going to start with the preset that we wrote out in the previous video. So we'll start with Bank 3 Preset 2. Let's go ahead and look at complex lanes and start by bringing up the trigger menu. So complex lanes have this concept of local trigger and global trigger. These are the local triggers here, these four, and these are for the specific complex lanes that share the same number. The global triggers are these two in the bottom, the bottom one also having an integrated button that you can use when no cable is plugged in. So for the complex lanes, we need to look at what the functionality is for the local triggers and then talk about the global triggers. So if you look down here in the bottom, you see L reset, L rand, and L play. We looked at local reset previously. We still have trigger one hooked into the mother 32 and we can send a gate that will reset the lane. There's a number here indicating which trigger you're looking at and yellow means that it's active. So every complex channel has these three local triggers. L rand, as shown previously, will randomize the lane based on the settings from the random page that we're going to cover in another video. Local play allows you to start and stop just that lane based on the local trigger. So if we enable that, now if we send a trigger, you'll notice here that it stopped and it has a little L and it's shown in red. When we send another trigger, it starts back up. Now you probably noticed that it started at the beginning. Well, that's because reset is on. So if we turn off reset for local and do this again, now it stopped here and now it started back. So L reset with L play allows you even different control of how you want pausing to work. Now quickly, let's go over to the CV mod matrix page. As you can see up here in the top, there is a play icon, a question icon for random, and then an R for reset. And the top row shows you that these are active. So if we turn reset off, you'll see that it goes away. Turn it back on, same thing with play. Now we'll switch back out. Now if you recall, when we talked about the template one, that it had resets already set up. And what that is, is that if you had noticed, local reset was active and global reset was active. So the global settings for a lane, there are three of them, global reset, global random, and global play. Now global reset and global random work very similar to the local, only that they are selected between these two, the global triggers. Think of them almost as a bus. So when you press global reset, the channel of which trigger it uses will show next to it. So right now, that's global trigger one. Now that's global trigger two. So now we'll switch over to the CV mod matrix page and take a look at this reset lane. The second line for these trigger indicators shows what the trigger is listening to for global. So in this case, you see two dots in a brown background. That indicates global trigger two. If we press it again, you'll notice it goes off. Press it again. Now we see a blue background with one dot, which means global trigger one. So we'll set back to global trigger two. The same is exactly true with random. As I turn that on, you can see it making the same changes.
Now global play is a little different. Global play for a lane indicates that it's going to listen to the bank global play. So when I turn this on, you'll notice nothing changed in here yet. That's because global play is not active in the bank trigger settings. So we'll go ahead and leave that on for right now. Let's exit out of the CV mod matrix and let's go down and take a look at a simple lane. Simple lanes only have global and they have reset, random, and play, just like the complex lanes did. So let's go down to six and we're gonna go ahead and turn global play on. Again, if we go back to the mod matrix page, it doesn't show up yet because it's not active yet in the bank trigger settings. So let's go look at the bank trigger settings. Use the CV button, get to the orange screen. So in this menu, you see CV rotate out, CV patch. These are both the CV settings, one of them we talked about previously. Patch mode is for the mode of the patch system and G patch is a trigger used with patching. We're not gonna talk about patch changing in this video, but just be aware that these are what those are used for. So let's talk about global reset, global random, and global play from the bank perspective. So how global reset works is when you have this active, so here I just turned it on twice to listen to global trigger two, this is going to reset everything, regardless of the settings that they have locally. So Global Reset and Global Random, from the bank perspective, send it to all the lanes. This is why it's also implemented locally, so if you don't want to always send it to all lanes, you can do it locally within a lane for either of these four triggers or select which ones listen to which global trigger. Same exact thing with Random. Now Global Play is a little different. So when you activate Global Play, Right now it's set to global trigger one, which is here. So let's go ahead and move this trigger into global trigger one. Now, if we go over to the mod matrix page, now you'll see that information has shown up for the play on the bottom two things. So since play can goes to all of them from the bank page, you'll see down here that global trigger one is shown that it can affect all the lanes. And you'll see there's a green box next to complex one and a green box next to simple six, which indicates that those are now listening. So let's go back over to the main page and I'll go ahead and invoke a trigger. Now you'll see that six paused and one paused. And now there's a little G here to show that it was a global pause and the background of the BPM turns red to indicate that a global pause has occurred. Likewise, if we send another trigger, it unpauses it. And if we go over to the CV mod matrix page and do it again, you'll see that there are colors here indicating what's going on as well. So as mentioned before, if you want lanes to not be affected by the global clock, turn off the global sync, and then go to the lane itself and turn off sync. Now when we pause on that lane, it's gonna stop wherever it is and start right back up. As you can hear, it's not in time anymore. But if we go ahead and turn that back on, and we start back up, now we'll be back in time. Now the last thing we just wanted to mention is this little area here and this little area here. You'll notice a lot of letters and numbers in here as you change trigger and CV settings. 
This area was designed just to give you a quick overview of what CV and trigger settings you have assigned to each of the lanes. This page, the CV Mod Matrix, is really what you want to use to take a look at all the settings. But this way you can quickly look and see what things have been assigned and the meanings of all these symbols are in the manual. So let's go ahead and save this patch out to Bank 3 Preset 3. And again, because we made changes in both, we're going to write both. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at the random settings and the random constraint system. Thanks for watching.